A bill that will impact the ability of property owners to challenge annexation is among hundreds that went into effect this week. As Barbara Brozier reports, while opponents say the law makes it harder for cities to expand, supporters say it gives homeowners a voice. When a city like Bloomington wants to expand its limits, it goes through a process called annexation. People and businesses can oppose their property being added to the city through a process called remonstrating. But certain properties have annexation remonstrance waivers associated with them, which prohibit the owners from challenging annexation. Many of them date back years and still stand, even if the property changes hands. The waiver's a contract. Someone was extended sewer service that the city provides, and they signed and said, if we get the sewer service, which is an urbanized service, then we realize we can't protest when you come to annex us later. But legislators passed a bill earlier this year that essentially invalidates some waivers. Among the changes, it voids annexation remonstrance waivers executed before July 2003. It also says waivers recorded after that time expire after 15 years. These waivers that were done maybe 30, 40 years ago were never filed with the property so it would not follow the deed. It'd be just like a roofer uh, fixing somebody's roof and then that person sells a home. Four or five years later, the roofer comes back and say, hey, by the way, I never got paid for my roof. Now you, the new homeowner, owe us. That's not fair. But Bloomington leaders say the legislation impedes their ability to grow by doing away with some longstanding agreements. It doesn't sound very fair to us or any community that naturally is going to grow. We certainly want our urbanized areas to grow. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Barbara Brozier. Bloomington plans to annex nearly 10,000 acres are on hold after the state passed language in its 2017 budget bill blocking annexations proposed during a narrow window of time. The city sued, claiming the language is unconstitutional because it singles out Bloomington. The issue is still caught up in court.